What's up everybody welcome back to another video on example charts from exotic astrology and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it okay and today we will discuss the chart of another exalted personality okay he may not have an exalted planet <laughs> okay as you see here but he is a very divine personality with lots of spiritual knowledge, wisdom, experience and determination to go forward in the path of God and divinity and share his immense wisdom with everybody in this universe, including people like me. Okay, and before beginning, as I always say, and today I must say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will also give you divinity like this chart. <laughs> <laughs> okay so this person i know him from the year 2010 july almost seven years from now and he is from east india currently doing preparation for government civil services which is known as ias indian administrative services in india and he came into contact with spirituality in the year 2010 and from that time I have been knowing him and he is one of my very good friends and I would like to throw some light on his horoscope okay now what is the first indicator of spirituality you see here the planet moon placed okay now which house is moon ruling here moon is ruling the ninth house because the sign number four is cancer which falls in the ninth house first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth again i am saying this is cancer sign number ninth house this is not house number four this is sign number four house number nine similarly this is always the first house in the sign of scorpio so he is a scorpio ascendant okay now the Lord of the ninth house of spirituality is sitting in the Lagna itself. And I have told earlier in my example charts in earlier videos that any planet which sits in your ascendant will drive your entire life. Okay. So the ninth Lord is sitting in the Lagna itself. So it is like saying the Lagna, which represents the head, the intelligence, is like saying the word of mm -hmm. God and the gurus and scriptures and divinity is on his head okay this is a beautiful way to see this so he will lifelong pursue spiritual path okay this is irrespective of the dasha and the transit and the aspects and the conjunctions of other planets this is irrespective this is universal this is all the time this will hold true okay now this is his default setting now what the person does by himself you have to see the Lord of the Ascendant, where he is going. The Lord of the Ascendant has gone to the 11th house, okay? In the house of friends, in the house of gains, network circle, socializing. That is very true because he is extremely social and he is a very picky person and he is very much knowledgeable in the scriptures because Virgo, okay, the Lord of the Ascendant, which is Mars, is sitting in the sign of Virgo in the 11th house and Virgo means people who are very much nitpicky about details they're very much critical okay and they can analyze things very properly right left which is right which is wrong you should do this you should not do that so his understanding of the scriptures his understanding of divinity his understanding of God is crystal clear and there is no iota of doubt on his intelligence and on his words okay and he likes to share the knowledge with everyone else, which is the 11th house of friends, okay? Now, we see here the power of the 10th house, okay? The 10th house is extremely powerful here. He has three planets in the 10th house, which makes him extremely strong individual from inside, okay? First, the sun is the lord of the 10th house itself which is sitting in its own sign leo so he's internally a very stable person okay and mercury 
is also sitting with sun and jupiter also so jupiter mercury conjunction this is one of the yogas for supreme intelligence okay and jupiter is the best friend of sun okay sun does not have a friend better than jupiter and mars of course so now two best friends are sitting together and sun and mercury are also neutral at times friendly also okay so this person is having these three beautiful planets in the 10th house okay and the sign leo is also friendly for all the three especially for jupiter okay so this represents that this person will make a very strong impact in this world before he leaves his body okay he will do something in this world which people will remember him for okay because 10th house is the impact okay and why i am saying that not because of three planets in the 10th house there can be many planets in the 10th house but that does not mean that the person will be remembered after his death why i am saying this is because 8th house deals with things that will continue after our death okay so now this is the 8th house okay if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8th house has the sign gemini which means mercury is the ruler now mercury is sitting in the 10th house first fourth seventh tenth that means whatever he does in this world is actions okay and because it is with planets like sun who is ruling the 10th house and divine planet like jupiter so it is very likely that he will be remembered in this world for his actions related to spirituality which is also very true because the lord of the ninth house is in the lagna so he will be pursuing spirituality lifelong okay and because of these reasons he will be known in this world okay which is beautiful in fact now saturn is in the third house which makes him very hard working okay his efforts are very determined and whatever he decides he accomplishes with all the challenges difficulties and trials and tribulations that he faces and he has also faced severe obstacles in many phases of his life but with his determination strength and willpower he has covered through all of them because third house is a malefic house okay it is a house of efforts which makes you work work and work okay it does not give you things easy now saturn is also malefic so it is like saying whenever a malefic sits in a malefic house the effect gets cancelled which means that the person is by nature very hard working which goes to say that he will be able to defeat anybody or defeat not internally uh, sorry not externally his enemies but even the internal challenges which he faces okay he'll be able to grow through them and cross them and this saturn is also aspecting venus okay so now saturn's aspect on venus is considered good because they are friends okay they are seven houses apart they are looking each other from the third house and from the ninth house so this means that when he goes into areas of relationships and women okay by area i mean either in the domain of marriage or on a relationship he will always make sure that there is a long term commitment duty structure organization okay and full responsibility towards the planet venus okay otherwise he will refrain from any such short term indulgence with anybody which is very great which is very rare in these days okay and saturn from there is also aspecting the 12th house of spirituality okay and the ninth house of spirituality okay and it is also aspecting the fifth house of ancient scripture so he is very determined towards all the houses the fifth ninth twelfth are all the houses of spirituality okay now this can be there for many people saturn in the third house aspecting the fifth ninth and the twelfth but that doesn't mean the person is spiritual by nature why i am saying this is the prerequisite is the ninth lord is in the luck night itself and the eighth lord is in the 10th house with jupiter okay so this is a very powerful combination for spirituality now this is something very obvious if the person has spiritual inclinations and then when saturn is sitting here 
then his efforts will be towards spirituality it is not any it is not towards money or towards name and fame okay that will come to him by default okay because of presence of moon here in the ascendant i am saying that okay so this will set the goal and then all the other planets should support towards this so now spirituality and effort so efforts towards spirituality towards helping people towards uplifting people uplifting people's lives okay now there is beautiful yogas here jupiter mercury as i said supreme intelligence very high intelligence okay and he has very strong power to convince others okay he can convince you about god and spirituality okay and because of sun's presence in the 10th house in leo his ability to take powerful decisions in life which will change his life and other people's lives around him is very beautiful okay and jupiter is the natural guru he is the natural guide okay and so divine intelligence so sun is the self okay so whenever he will take any spiritual decision okay or any decision in his life he will always consult his gurus okay sun is the person and jupiter is representing the gurus okay and mercury represents thought process thinking abilities analyzing the pros and cons so now recently he has completed his masters in chemical engineering and from there he has decided to go into the preparation of government services and this decision he has taken after thinking over a while and not just uh, abruptly that yes i want to be a government servant no it is not like that he has deliberated in in it properly and then finally he has decided and then ketu in the 8th house is a beautiful placement for spirituality okay because ketu in the 8th house shows that the person has done phenomenal activities in the areas of the 8th house which is occult hidden sciences etc okay now this can also be found in the charts of other people but that does not necessarily mean spirituality okay the main reason of spirituality why i am saying is because the presence of the ruler of the ninth house in the first house okay and now going to the last planet rahu is in sagittarius which is again the sign of spirituality and the most beautiful planet is venus here situated in the ninth house okay and here because venus represents our love our ability to love our ability to be happy okay so tremendous happiness is there in the ninth house when venus stays there so the moment he gets married okay because venus represents your wife okay so when the moment you get married or not maybe the moment necessarily immediately but as you start getting married and then when you are established in the relationship with your wife then the areas of spirituality will increase okay and because the dispositor of this venus dispositor means the planet who rules the sign where the planet is placed so venus is in the sign of cancer so the dispositor moon is in the lagna in the first house itself okay because of this his overall life will improve after marriage when and his spirituality will also improve okay now you can say moon is debilitated here in the sign of scorpio well that is true and i inquired about this fact regarding his mother and he also told me that his mother had faced many difficulties challenges in the initial part of her life and there has been so much struggle in her life okay and uh that is it for moon's debility and because moon is a uh, benefic okay natural benefic it is in the kendra the first four seventh and tenth so and it is specially in the first house so he is a very good looking person also okay and his nature is very soft and he is not very aggressive although you might find that you have these three planets in the 10th house but first house is more of the looks and the personality and appearance now internally he is a very strong person because of the sun's presence in the 10th house which gives directional strength to sun okay it's called dikbala in astrology about which we will discuss later so sun represents the ideals of a person ability to be fixed to be committed to something so he is very committed towards his work okay 
and he is all way now to become a government official very soon. So I gave the interpretation. Another last interpretation of spirituality could be the twelfth lord of spirituality is in the ninth house of religion. This is another beautiful combination. Okay, aspecting Saturn, which is the fifth lord of children and fourth lord of home. So whenever he gets married, there will be lots of spirituality which will come out to his home. His wife will definitely be very lucky. <laughs> And why I am saying this? Because the Lord of the seventh house of marriage, okay, which is Venus, because in the seventh house the number two sign is coming, is itself sitting in the ninth house of spirituality. That means the moment he gets married, he will pursue his spiritual goals more aggressively. And because Venus is in the ninth house of long distance travel or master's degree, it could have been possible that he could have met uh, somebody when he was doing his master's. Or he might meet somebody when he goes for some long distance travel, okay? And because this is in the sign of Cancer, okay, in the Nakshatra of Ashlesha, so it is likely that the girl will be a, of a very fair color, okay? And he, because here Venus has double role, it is not only Venus, the natural significator of wife, but it is also. The planet who is ruling the seventh house okay so here um, the wife will have the traits she will be like cancer cancer is what it is the sign ruled by moon it's very feminine and very much uh, emotional okay so those traits will be there in the wife okay so that is it from my side if you have any questions, queries and comments and if you have not yet subscribed, then subscribe to it and write to me if you want any further information on this chart. I know the video has become a bit long but it is important that I fully explain before uh, going into anything else because these are charts of uh, uh, rare people, great uh, exalted people who have pursued spirituality very diligently with a lot of determination and power and so it is important that I take time out to explain the charts of such people rather than showing you charts of people who have made hundreds trillions and billions of money because that is not going to help us at the end right at the end only what we have inside how much are we connected to God only that is going to help us at the end okay so that's it from my side. Very spiritual person. Ninth Lord in the Lagna. Twelfth Lord in the Ninth. Venus in the Ninth. And the Ascendant Lord in the Eleventh House of Friends. Socializing. Okay. And hard working because Saturn in the Third House. So that's it from my side. Bye bye. See you.